वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन हाउ टू प्रिपेयर रिएक्शन रेमेडीज दैट इज कार्बोनियम आयोन कार्बोकैटियोन योर फ्री रेडिकल्स नाइट्रीन्स एंड कार्बीन्स नाउ लेट अस कम बैक एंड स्टडी द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ दीस रिएक्शन रेमेडीज दैट इज द फर्स्ट वन इज कार्बोनियम आयोन राइट सो व्हेनेवर वी आर सीइंग द स्ट्रक्चर सो बेसिकली यू हैव टू रिमेंबर लेट्स ट्राई द हेडिंग फर्स्ट कार्बोनियम आयोन that so whenever you are explaining remember for a structure important category thing are you have to draw the orbital diagram you have to explain uh, write the type of hybridization you have to write the bond angle you have to write the shape also that so here when i speak about carbonium ion so we said carbonium ion is denoted by which charge it is a positively charged species positive charge so carbonium ion basically the structure looks like this fine suppose if i take in the case i'm take <coughs> sorry i'm taking the case of ch3 like i'm taking the case of this ch3 plus how does this look the shape looks like this carbon in the center with positive charge you have one lobe above you have one more lobe up below there is one lobe of as this is also one more lobe and right So in case of CH three plus, there is one p orbital, vacant p orbital, right? So this is sp two hybridized. This is also sp two hybridized. <coughs> this is also sp two hybridized. So here, first important thing: Are you finding any non-bonding electrons? No. The first important characteristic is it has no non-bonding electrons in carbonium ion. Non-bonding electrons. First characteristic. Next, when I see the hybrid, how is the shape looking? The shape is nothing but shape is trigonal coplanar. Coplanar. What is the hybridization? The hybridization is hybridization. We have already seen it is sp two hybridization. What is the bond angle here? Bond angle is. 120 degrees, and when I have to see its magnetic property, magnetic property means whether it is the whether it's paramagnetic or diamagnetic. Here, there is there are no unpaired electrons; all are paired. Hence, it is diamagnetic in nature. Dia magnetic in nature. Okay, that. So this is the structure of your carbonium ion. So when I have to see it's uh, the structure of a of carbanion. Let us see. So structure the second category is carbanium or carban ion or carbanium ion or you can also write it as carb <coughs> anion. That's also is okay. Yeah. So the structure we said. It looks like this. Carbon center. Let us circle this. One lobe here. One lobe. Yes, this is important pair. This, this is what there is one more lobe. No. Right. So here it is sp three hybridized orbital. Sp three. This is also sp three. This is also sp three. So hope uh, uh, this is clear, students, because with this concept, I think you can write what actually is hybridization. I'm leaving leaving it to you. Bond angle. You can write uh, the shape, everything. Right? I'll give you this as a homework. Let's come back and see the next one uh, uh, reaction species that is free radicals. Let's write that free radical structure. We will see. So when I have to speak about free radical structure, so free radical, as I said, it is denoted by a dot. First important characteristic of free radical is they are neutral species, neutral, and they are highly reactive, highly reactive in nature. And as I said, they are very short lived for a very few seconds only. Their I mean uh, the duration is very short lived. Exist for a very few seconds. So when I have to draw the structure, the free radical structure, carbon in the center. I said it is denoted by a dot, isn't it? One dot. And remaining all lobes are sp two hybridized lobes. 
all are sp2 this is also sp2 this is also sp2 this is also sp2 hybridized loops so atoms with free radicals free or odd electrons they have an odd electron or free radicals are basically called they have an odd electron or which is denoted by single dot so they have odd electron right again i'm leaving it to you you can write the shape bond angle everything according to which i have explained earlier now when i take a carbene structure let us see carbene so carbene basically there are two types of carbenes one is singlet carbene and one more is triplet carbene triplet carbene so when i take singlet carbene let us see the structure of singlet carbene so singlet carbene basically you have carbon both the things here in the difference here is in singlet carbene again uh, the same <coughs> we have sp2 hybridized uh, lobes here yeah so okay this one i can towards this so this is sp2 hybridized this is sp2 hybridized this is also sp2 hybridized so in triplet carbon the difference is just see you draw in the loops here so sp2 hybridized this is also sp2 hybridized but here you have a pair of electrons but here you have electrons right so means the spin of the electron will be one is shared here and in this case one is shared with the same spin so it has two electrons with same spin it has two unshared electrons with opposite spin in one let us write that in singlet carbon it has two unshared electrons where are they present they are present or means the spin is with opposite spin in one orbital in only one orbital it is present you see here one orbital so here when i take triplet carbene again it has two electrons with same spin spin is same same spin but way in two different orbitals in different orbitals that is what you have to and when i take this what is the shape of this this is linear basically this is sp hybridization so that's only difference so when i take a nitrine when i have to draw the structure of nitrine so it is a nitrine again nitrines are of two types singlet nitrines and triplet nitrines let us write that singlet nitrine and triplet nitrine let us draw the structure of this so singlet nitrine it looks like nitrogen here one one more bond one lobe above and below one has yeah pair so the overall charge plus this name this is z that is name this is y so when it comes to triplet carbene here we have both the electrons present in the same orbital in triplet carbene as i've shown in the earlier one again two lobes both the electrons are present two different lobes with the same spin and this is your set this is your five so this is how uh, this is these are the structures of different reaction intermediate students right so hope this is clear i'll meet you again with the next concept and we will see like the different questions based on reaction intermediates thank you for watching